Whether you're making videos for social media or just want your marketing data to look amazing, this step-by-step -step After Effects tutorial has got you covered. Let's roll the intro. All right, open After Effects and create a new composition, naming it Marketing Text. Set the composition size to 1080 by 1080 and the frame rate to 30, which works well for social media. Next, create a new solid layer and name it Background. Choose any color you prefer. I'm using a dark blue shade. After that, go to the toolbar and select the text tool. For this tutorial, I'm using the Bieber's Neu font because it has a clean and bold look. Click anywhere in the composition area and start typing your main text. Now align your text perfectly to the center of the composition, both horizontally and vertically. We're ready to start animating it. Open your text layer, click on Animate, and choose Position from the list. Increase the Y position value until the text moves completely out of the visible area, just below the frame. Perfect, something like that. Next, open the range selector and set the offset value to negative 100%. Move to the one second mark on the timeline and change the offset value to 100% to create the animation. Then open Advanced Settings and change the shape to ramp up for a smooth reveal effect. Set both the Ease High and Ease Low values to 50%. Preview it once and you'll notice a nice flowing motion. Now try changing the Ease High value to negative 50%, which adds a slightly different motion feel and honestly, it looks much smoother and more dynamic. Now let's turn on Motion Blur for the text layer to make the animation look smoother and more natural. Moving on to the next step, Rename this layer to Animate In. Then duplicate the layer and rename the copy to Animate Out. Press U to reveal all the keyframes on both layers. Select the keyframes on the Animate Out layer and move them to around the two second mark in the timeline. You'll notice it doesn't behave as expected yet. So open the Animate Out options. Then open Advanced and change the shape from Ramp Up to Ramp Down. This adjustment gives it a proper Animate Out movement. However, we want the text to move upward instead of downward, so go to the End Position property and change the Y position value to a negative number, around minus 780, until the text disappears from the top of the screen. Now preview it and it should look much better. If the animation feels a bit slow, reveal all keyframes, select them, hold the Alt key, and drag them slightly to the left to speed up the animation smoothly. Perfect. Now let's trim this layer right at this point to keep the timeline clean and organized. After that, duplicate the same layer and position the new text layer where you want the next line to appear. Replace the text with a new phrase or word to keep the sequence flowing smoothly. This already looks nice and transitions well. You don't need to change anything else for now, just make slight adjustments to the placement of the text to make it look visually balanced. Great. Next, create another duplicate of the same layer and position it right after the previous one to continue the animation flow. Replace the text again and you'll see it works perfectly. If needed, you can fine-tune the timing to match your desired pacing. Once done, minimize all the layers to keep your workspace tidy. Now we'll create one more text layer. Duplicate the existing one again, replace the text, and slightly adjust its size and position for variety. Open the text options, go to the Animator in section, and set the Y position to zero then modify the X position to a negative value, around negative 980, so the text slides in smoothly from the left side of the screen, creating a clean and dynamic motion. Open the Advanced section and change the Based On option to Words, so that the entire text appears together instead of letter by letter. It gives a much cleaner animation. Next, let's create the Animate Out motion. Open the Animate Out properties and adjust the position values again. But this time, move the text towards the right side of the screen so it exits smoothly. 
that looks much better already. Also, change the based on option to words here too, so the full text disappears simultaneously for a more professional look. Adjust the position or timing if needed to match your design style, and it should look perfect. Now duplicate this text layer and place it just below the previous text layers in the timeline. Align and tweak the animation slightly to fit the sequence properly. For the next step, make sure no layer is selected, then go to the toolbar and choose the Rectangle tool. Set the Fill to Solid Color and the Stroke to None. Draw a rectangle over the area where your text appears. This will act as a mask. Rename this layer as Mask. We'll use it to restrict the text visibility inside this box. If the track mat options aren't visible, right-click in the Layer panel, go to Columns and Enable Modes. Then change the track mat for your text layers to use the Mask layer. Now your text will only be visible inside the defined box, giving it a neat reveal effect. Finally, select your subtitle text and align it properly for a balanced layout. And that's it. Thanks for following along with this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, good luck and peace.